The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Louisville Cardinals and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Hilltoppers are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, don't allow any good looks from beyond New York. Challenge every shot. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. That's battles our defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. The Cardinals go to the line for the first time in this game. Makes the foul shot. Launches the three. He shows the sweet touch. Time to pick up the defense here now. Puts it up, looking for contact. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from left of the circle. Strong rebound. Good rebound position. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Number 32 steals the ball. Number three takes the feed. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. This just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Nice pass to the low block. He gets the bucket to fall. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time scoring. the circle. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now the high screen keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number 41 gets the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Moving it around the perimeter. The power forward gets the pass. For two, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all.
Trying to go inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Trying to feed inside. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. He attempts the trifecta. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. The pass is ripped away. He broke out just in time. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. Dumps it in. Number four takes the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They look to get it to the inside. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Lester. Nice to have you on with us. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches a three. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Here's a double team. Kicks it out. He tries to knock down the three. Oh, yes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He brings it down. perimeter number 32 is eager and excited to compete he may be in the zone right now Brad way off target the point guard with the ball the frustration right there gave it up they'd like to get it inside to the low block Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. Louisville are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The defense senses a five-second call. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Pressure on the ball. Head on the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was rocking on the box. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. 
Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Goes up for two. In and out. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He fires away. Way off target. For two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He fakes the shot. Number 12 fakes the shot. 10 seconds to put it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For three. Goes. That's a 7-0 run. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Executes the baby hook. How many bricks have we seen? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Way off target. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. Gave it up. There's the trap. He throws it up from downtown. Strong rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Decided against the open post. The senior leader puts it in, plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. Out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people in the foul trouble. Step back out onto the court. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. On the inside. Great anticipation defensively. Oh, 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. On the dribble, gives it up, gave it up, turns it over. Tries for two, perfectly executed. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. On the outside. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. Looks at the hoop. Controlling the ball. Let's it fly. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. Double team now, bad angle. Almost lost the basketball. Ten on the shot clock. Up and inside. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He knocks down another bucket. This down. kid's got skills, Brad. Blocks it. The last line of defense is a good block. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking out of the box. The Cardinals have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. With a deep shot from outside. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Look at that spacing. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Fast break opportunity here. And one too many dribbles and a steal. From the top of the key, he nails the shot. Takes the pass in the paint, trying to draw the foul.
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number one with the tray. A drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Picked out of the air, gave it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. He puts up the three ball. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He goes with a jump hook and in and out. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. The fake. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For the bucket. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Two goes in. For two, and he missed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one, there should have been a foul called, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact grab on the defensive player. Gave it up. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Two for one opportunity. On the outside, he goes for three. Makes the shot. Here's one for the highlight reel. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Shot clock is dead. Nice fake. And now they'll bring it up. Tries for two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. At the half, the Cardinals are ahead by 13. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Western Kentucky is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Working it around the perimeter. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He goes for the trifecta. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brad. Oh, what a strip, Brad. With the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Stolen away. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Rims out. They work it around the perimeter. The small forward handles the feed for the bucket. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing more ball fake and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Entry pass in the paint. Good fake. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Transition opportunity coming up. He drains the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He unloads a three. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. With the J. Can't connect. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ten on the shot clock. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide.
there's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter for two. And he scores despite the hack. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Got the high pick. He buries it. The center receives the pass. For the deuce. Up and in. They work the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Dump it inside. Takes the... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The shooting guard receives the ball. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. The power forward handles the pass. Number 22, modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotionally, he couldn't be much lower, I don't think. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. The Hilltoppers trail by 21. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. team again here's Aaron Andrews well guys the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and it's probably some of the reason why they have this lead if things don't change in a hurry this game could get ugly guys all right thanks Aaron I'll tell you one thing you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action he shoots from the top of the key way off target Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Count that as a personal foul. 
Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Lobs it inside. Jumps into the defender. Look at that spacing. Number 22. Slowly performance has just gotten in his head and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They're working around the perimeter. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot. No good. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nicky's working on that low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He comes away with it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. The Hilltoppers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from right of the circle. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. You have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. for two. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks can cure. He tries the three. Western Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. For the bucket, they still don't score. around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Makes the shot. They scored 12 in a row. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He 
gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. Thanks, Aaron. Makes the first. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon in the end. Up and inside. He looks for three. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. On the outside, in the paint. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was a great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. With the foul. First personal foul. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Dump it inside. Way it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Working it around the perimeter. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Scroll. For the deuce. Western Kentucky are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Here they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Collision there, but no foul called there. I think good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Pushes it up. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Picks off the pass. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Leans in. 
Western Kentucky are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. Dan, we remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. High post screen, going to use it. For two, doesn't go. Poor ball management there, Dick. I'll say 10 seconds. Are you kidding me? There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Turnaround jumper. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense. The people in the spot, Mr. Nestler. They work the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot strips the ball oh what a great job transition offense poor job defensively you don't get back don't stop the ball and they're allowed to convert get the number game going and we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Can't get the shot to drop. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low post. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. around the perimeter he tries the three ball he can't miss hey, this young man's feeling it Brad on the dribble gives it up gave it up they work it around the perimeter Side. Steals the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. They keep forcing them to sit up in a half court. Got an open look if he wants it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Cross court. out of bounds and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups he attempts the three they should try for an early foul here that's a matter of clock management isn't it Dick? And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And yet another foul. He 
He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He hits the second. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He dials long distance. Rims out. Pushes it. Here they come now on a turnover. Gets it back out. Wide open for the shot. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Cardinals is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.